Hello. Um, so I was tagged. I think it's the first time I've ever been tagged in a collab or something like that. I'm still learning how YouTube works. So if you're coming over from Broken Over It, welcome. Um, if you're one of my subscribers, welcome. Also. <laughs> um, so I suppose a little bit about my channel. Um, learning to be me is um, basically just that. It's me learning to be me. Um, I got out of the military in 2009. I'm figuring out everything. Um, I'm 36 years old. I am a janitor at a high school, which is good because my brain likes moving around and it's the kind of work that I don't have to take home with me. Like, it's very easy to compartmentalize this job from home. And I have pretty good hours, like, I get to wake up with my brain instead of an alarm while during the school year. And then I get home at right about the time that I normally, like, naturally want to go to bed. So, it's pretty cool for me. But, um, yeah, so I guess on to this tag. Um, the tag is seven frugal things seven questions about being frugal or saving money or dealing with debt so um, question one frugal things I do every day um, I avoid driving more than necessary uh, I try to make sure that if I'm headed somewhere I've got multiple things to do there like I live out in the middle of the sticks and the closest grocery store is about 15-ish minutes and it's a 20, I say it's like easily 10, maybe 25% markup on most grocery items and so it's better to drive to a 30 minute away grocery store and get normal prices. So if I'm driving 30 minutes that's like pretty much a tank of gas or not a tank of gas a gallon of gas for me um and so I make sure that I've got multiple things to do there there's three different areas that I tend to go shopping so depending on what I need to get I'll go to whichever one they're all in like totally different directions from each other so I just figure out what all I need to be doing and if there's other things that I can do in one of those other spots, let's make it a multi, multi-purpose trip. And I don't tend to go to the grocery store just for one or two items. If I don't have the things to make whatever it is, I make something else. And then put the items that I need onto a shopping list. So, that's one of the, the big things I do every day. I try not to drive extra. Um, I've recorded this video now four times, so I'm trying to remember if there were other things that I talked about. Um, number two, strategies for saving on utilities. Um, I currently live with my aunt and uncle in one of their outbuildings that has an apartment built into it. Um, they originally built the apartment so that my dad could live on the property, like, 20, 25 years ago, maybe? No, yeah, it's probably 25, 27 years ago, maybe. Um, so it's kind of weird that I'm now living in my dad's old apartment. But um, I don't have to pay utilities. So I pay $400 a month for rent, and that covers everything. Um, and I pay her in cash, so it's for her it's under the table income. And for me, it's cheap rent. Somebody's driving up behind me. No, they're not. Um, so, yeah, but when I did have my own place, um, I would dry my clothes on a clothes horse in the summer or on um, laundry lines, clothes lines. Um, in the... 
I always I, I installed a ceiling fan that's another big thing to push the the air around just having moving air especially when you're blowing the hot air down in the winter um, I had a forced air heater it was a trailer house manufactured house um, forced air heater and it used so much electricity so I went and got a couple of plug-in oil radiators and then put box fans behind them and it blew the air around and you still had to wear a sweatshirt or a sweater and if you're sitting still for too long you'd get kind of cold but whatever the pipes never froze and all the animals were happy so it was okay um, so just kind of looking into other ways of heating your house um, ways that I save on food and household items um, since I started budgeting, I decided to budget my groceries. Well, yeah, because that's part of budgeting. Um, and one of the other benefits of budgeting your groceries is controlling what ingredients that you've got. So, my one of my big goals for controlling how much money I was spending on food was to make food and bring it to work with me and um yeah so planning your food um maybe even meal prepping so that you have zero excuse not to grab this container a piece of fruit and whatever just kind of have it have it planned out the night before it's really easy to grab your food and go. Um, if you plan what you're going to make, then I don't know. When I was going grocery shopping before, I would buy some really great intended vegetables and fruits and stuff. And frequently they would just rot because I would forget that they were there or they weren't really planned into a particular meal. I just, I felt like adults need to have broccoli around and adults need to have cauliflower around and adults need to buy brussels sprouts when they're on sale forgetting the fact that this adult sucks at cooking things though like I'm a good cook I just suck at cooking things before they rot <laughs> I don't cook them once they're rotted I give it to the garden so um yeah from meal planning and meal prepping um that has helped keep me from overbuying um, too many vegetables that they go rotten. I've also become more aware of how much I should buy if I plan on eating it within a week or within two weeks. And then also more understanding of how long certain things last. Like broccoli lasts so long. Cabbage lasts forever. Um, tomatoes, not super forever. Cucumbers, not super forever. Yeah, it's like things like that. Um, knowing how long different foods last in your fridge. Meal prepping, having a plan, having a schedule to eat them. That way they don't rot. You don't buy extra stuff. And you eat nice, inexpensive, healthy food. Um, saving on household items. I'm not a super clean freak. I don't use lots and lots of cleaners in my house all the time. Like, I don't need to daily scrub everything. I don't have kids. I don't have a partner in my house. So, it's all my germs. Well, mine and my cats. But, um, so basically, I just... I don't buy a whole lot of cleaning products all the time. Um, when I do my laundry, I use like the minimal amount of soap that I need to. My washing machine isn't a massive machine and I can soak it in the soap for a while and agitate it a couple times. I have kind of a special washing machine. I think I videoed that on a couple other videos. Um, maybe I didn't post them. I don't know. If you'd like to see my weird washing machine that plugs into my kitchen sink and drains into my kitchen sink let me know in comments below i will absolutely video that and 
talk you through how it works. Um, it like super spins my clothes too. So even in the winter, drying my I live in Portland, Oregon, so it's wet most of the year, like humid. So even in the winter and spring and fall, my clothes dry nicely. Um, that would be kind of nice if they weren't linty. And every now and then I do take my stuff over to the big house, my aunt and uncle's house, and run it through their dryer just to get the cat hair and stuff off of them. Um, save money on clothes. Um, hmm. I'm not a clothes shopper. I wear, like, t-shirts. This t-shirt I got for free from my last job. They were a screen printing company. Um, let's see. This sweatshirt, I don't know. I found it at... Kmart. Kmart was having a clearance sale and I bought that. Uh, that one I spent full money on a rain jacket. This, I was given this free. Has a school logo on it. I don't know. I shop for things at second hand stores mostly. Um, and if I can't find the thing that, like if I'm looking for something in specific, in particular, I'm looking for a medium weight t-shirt in purple. I will check Goodwill, and I'll check a couple other used clothing stores, and if I don't find it, and I need it by a certain day, I'll go buy it new, whatever. Um, because I put in some effort to not have to buy it new. If I'm looking for a jacket that I want to be waterproof, um, buying something that I can make waterproof, I'll buy that. Otherwise, I'll go buy a new rain jacket. It depends on what I'm using the rain jacket for. Is the rain jacket supposed to look kind of nice? Like it's something that I'm wearing outside my clothes, coming and going from job interviews or something? Yeah, I might buy a nice new one. Um, if I'm just getting muddy dirty in it, I guess it doesn't matter so long as it's uh, waterproof. Um, so that's kind of like the main thing. Like knowing what the use of your clothes is going to be and knowing whether or not you need to buy something nice or if you can just buy something that works. Um, trying to think of anything other than that taking care of your clothes if clothes are designed to not go in the washing machine like your bras and my underwear I don't put my underwear in the dryer um, they last a lot longer you get three years on a pair of underwear because you didn't stick them in the dryer I don't know kind of worth it I guess so being careful about how you how you clean and manage and store your clothes also making sure that you buy clothes that are based on the type of wear that you're gonna do for them i don't know i'm a t-shirt and jeans girl so i mostly just get utility clothes like clothes that are designed to be comfortable and last a long time i do have some dress up clothes not much <laughs> um number five Strategies to stay out of debt or pay down debt. Um, I have not taken on any new debt for... I think it's been like th maybe three years. Um, no, probably like a year and a half, two years. In honesty. Um... Student loans, I didn't have money saved up. I used student loans. I used my GI Bill and I used student loans. My whole goal was to not have to worry about money so that I could focus on school. And now I'm paying for it. <laughs> um, strategies for staying out of debt. If you don't have money, don't, don't go do stuff. If you don't have money, don't go drive your car around. So if you drive your car around, you will... Oh, here's one that goes back to number one, frugal things I do every day. I don't go into 
places that trigger my spending um, for multiple reasons. If I go into a convenience store, big trigger store for me, I buy food that isn't healthy for my brain or my body, and I spend money that I didn't need to spend. Um, if you don't, don't have the money to go to the convenience store and you're putting that on a credit card, you spent money that you don't have, and you bought crap you don't need. I could have packed my lunch. So, um... Yeah, things like that. If you don't if you don't need a 14th yellow shirt when you don't wear your other 13 yellow shirts. I don't know. I don't know how see everybody's way of getting into debt is so individual. Um some people go into debt buying doodads and doohickeys off of the infomercials and some people go into debt by spending money on those send us money and we'll pray for yous or people spend money on buying stuff for their grandkids you know like it you never know how to tell people how to stay out of debt because you don't know what is going to trigger their spending so I really I don't know the big part of staying out of debt is be true to you understand what it is that you value more than this little moment of spending money. I mean, if you're trying to win over your grandkids as somebody who was a grandkid, sit down and read with them. Um, if the doodads and geegaws make you happy, I don't know what to say. What what about them makes you happy? Do they remind you of your childhood or something? Like, does it trigger a feeling that you need to find? Figure out if there's other ways to get those feelings. I don't know. Um, how to pay down debt? I don't know. I'm using a method similar to Dave Ramsey. You know, I haven't studied him. I haven't taken any of his classes. I haven't read any of his books. I've watched his podcast. Um... I follow a few people here in the budgeting community, um, and that's, I don't know, we can just cruise around people and find out how they manage to pay down their debts. I'm still on baby step one for the third time, so I'm only one year in, not even a whole year, I started my debt free journey in January of 2017, which is now June 26th, 7th, 27th, and, um, of 2017. I'm on my third time building up a $1,000. Um, so I don't think that anybody has their own, I mean, everybody's got their own way of doing it. Um, if they speak something that speaks to your soul or gives you that light bulb that says, Oh my gosh, this person is making as much money as me and has as much debt as me and has the same number of kids as me and they're doing it, I can do it too. Follow them. If they give you inspiration, do it. Um... If the person who is making $10,000 less than you in a year and has two more kids than you and is still paying down their money and you're like, whoa, this person is living way below my means. Like, what are they doing that I can follow? Get inspiration. Um, paying down debt is like, I don't know, it's probably... 40% inspiration, 50% perspiration, 10% just doing it, just getting started, although starting feels like the biggest, hardest part. Um, number six, one thing I do to save money that nobody knows about. I don't shave very often, if ever. Like, 
years go by and I don't shave anything on my body. Nah, whatever. I'm not dating anybody. Who's to give a crap? I save money on razors. You know how expensive those bad boys are? They're so expensive that they lock them up in the grocery store. Yeah. Razors are expensive. I'm not spending money on razors just for what? For... I don't mind if I've got hairy legs. And I don't mind if I've got hairy armpits. My... They don't stink. So I guess that's, you know, whatever. So, yeah. Not dating anybody. Don't really need to have fuzz-free armpits. Doesn't bother me. I have to wear long sleeves at my work. I don't care. Whatever. Not long sleeves, but not... I can't wear tank tops at work because we have to be professional at the school. Um... So gross or whatever that is. It's a random way that I save money. If I don't need to shave, I don't shave. A lot of women don't shave in the winter. Whatevs. Um, number seven. How important is saving money to me? Um, I... That's kind of like a weird one. That's something that it feels important and it feels like it should be important. And there are reasons for me to do it. There's things that I would like to accomplish in my life that spending less money and saving money up will help me do that. Um, not having any debt hanging over my head will help me get to those points. Um, I, my frustration and turning point type moment was when when I realized that I spent three years saying that I needed to save up to get my teeth fixed. Three years. And then I just realized, wait, what? I was originally diagnosed with that cavity three years ago. I started saving money. I didn't actually start saving money. I just figured that when I was going to get a windfall, I would spend that money on my teeth. And my car would be broken or it was time for car insurance or Christmas happened or something you know like whenever there was a windfall something else took the money away from my teeth like my health right so um so I'm saving. <laughs> I'm actually saving up to get my teeth done. I'm doing a sinking fund to be able to go to the dentist and keep a running sinking fund to be able to get my teeth cleaned every six months. And also um, a, a squish fund, who I'll call it, um, a buffer that if I do have a filling needed, that I will have the $300 to get my fillings done when the cavity is little instead of like, I have a piece of crown, not crown, a piece of filling that keeps chipping off and I'm eating amalgam because seven years of saving, <laughs> God, not seven years, it's been like three years maybe, but it's just ridiculous and that was, that was my big turning point. So saving money is important and is important to me, but it wasn't important enough to stay in the front of my brain. So I had to dummy resistant it. I had to make a, that money comes out of my bank account and goes into a different banking account that is specifically for this item. That bank account, um, I've got videos on my sinking accounts, but I've got like a medical dental sinking account. I've got a car repair replace sinking account. I've got my car insurance sinking account. Yep, and that's that. And it, they automatically pull out because they're things that I deem important enough to put them first. So, um, yeah. Money, saving money is important. Um, being frugal is kind of important. It's sort of like our, my family's kind of a super frugal, like a save every piece of plastic wrap. I'm not that person. 
I do not wash my tin foil. I just don't use the tin foil. Do I need to use a tin foil? No, not for this one. <laughs> do I use parchment paper on my cookie sheets? I could scrub my cookie sheets. I don't need to use parchment paper. You know, um, that's kind of how I, I go through life. Like, is there a way to do this that will cost less money? Soap versus parchment paper? Convenience. I mean, if I'm baking Christmas cookies, yeah, I'll use parchment paper. But if I'm just baking something dumb, one off, I'll cook, clean the cookie sheet rather than waste a bunch of money. But whatever, a little bit of money. I don't even know how much parchment paper costs. I only buy it for Christmas time. But anyway, that's my seven things. Um, thanks for watching this incredibly long video. Most of my videos are ridiculously long. I tend to go on some mild ADD style tangents. Um, and that's another thing in this learning to be me. Working on getting diagnosed or finding out what is going on with my attention and ADD or not ADD. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking it out. And uh, happy almost Wednesday. Almost hump day. Almost 4th of July. Yeah. So what are you guys doing for 4th of July? Are you guys uh, planning on saving some money? Let me know. I guess. Yes. I guess yes. You guys should let me know. What are you going to do to save money this 4th of July? Are you going to not watch the fireworks or watch the fireworks from a friend's porch instead of paying admission? Are you going to watch all the neighbor's fireworks instead of buying your own? I have animals, so fireworks are not super duper cool. About five, ten minutes of it, like, yay, that was fun. Now I gotta go bring my dog back. Um, they don't like the booms. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Are you going to bring your own food? Are you going to, like, curious what people are going to do? Anyway, um, I'm going to sign this off. <sighs> Thanks for the tag. Um, I don't have anybody to tag. I'm still pretty new to this and not super comfortable. It feels not that I felt like I was forced to do something. I'm, it's really kind of cool. Um, but... I don't, I don't know. I feel weird putting people on, in the spotlight that weren't anticipating being in the spotlight. And, uh, Broken Over It was really cool. She sent me a message yesterday and said, hey, as a heads up, I'm tagging you in a video. So, I don't know. It, it I, I'm not freaked out about it. And I'm sure that everybody else would feel the same. But I just have this thing about pushing myself on people and feeling like, Oh, did I just push myself on them again? Or, uh, but whatever. Um, so anyway, I don't know. Nobody to tag. I follow kind of the regulars. Budget girl, um, modern, modern budget curl, like curl like your hair. Um, broken over it. I really like her now. Um, I've been watching her for, oh, uh, maybe two weeks. Um, Uh, who's some other ones? Favorite Daughter Emily and Our Life on a Budget. Yeah, there's some good ones. It's fun watching how they, they, how they plan their budgets, how they work through, um, their stuff. Anyway, um, thanks for visiting and putting up with even more of this longer video because ADD kind of took off and I found more things to say. <laughs> yes. All right. Time to sign off. For reals, for reals. Okay, for real this time. Totally. Signing off. Now. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye.